I'm Lawrence Weschler. I'm a, a writer, sometime impresario. Uh, I, uh, for many years, wrote at the New Yorker magazine. I'm fascinated by people or places that were moseying on in the middle of their dailiness and suddenly got obsessed about something. And Teo is very much the kind of person I'm really interested in. I mean, there's just a bunch of plastic uh, with some really primitive connections. I mean, it's not, it's, there's no digital equipment or anything. This is totally analog. You cannot help but find yourself being drawn to them, your heart opening up to them in his high trickster mode, uh, Teo insists, it is alive. I once then said to him, if they are alive, you must be their god. And his response was, no, I'm their slave. It's a high trickster response. Uh, and there's something tr true to it, that this packet of information came into his mind at some point and in has infested his mind and is forcing him to do these things. He has a definition of life, that life is information, packets of information playing themselves out, and by that definition, they are alive. I mean, we're talking about issues of life and death. I think these days, especially, Teo is thinking about death a lot. Uh, and what dies when you die? There is a sense, and it's particularly a sense when, when uh, Teo is talking about his ambition that these things will live on after him, that long after he's dead they will be mating in some profound way. But there's something, I hesitate to say it, but I almost say dark, really dark in him. That, that is, it, it's a dark flame that, that's the, that's, well, that, that is what's going on when he's out there creating and when he's really in his mind, and when he's really doing what he really loves doing. Um, and uh, don't be fooled. <laughs>